and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody that I have known for a number of years. I have been following her on Facebook, on LinkedIn. She has been doing so many incredible things. And she's one of those people that is just the things that she does. She is inspiring. And guys, y'all give it up for none other than Nita Costello. Can you hear him clapping for you? <laughs> yes, I can. I love Here it. I love you. Plus. That's right. Huge fan club. Uh, Nita, I, again, I just want to thank you so much for joining the show today. But I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Okay, sure. Uh, I am a SEQ technical training lead for a petroleum um, company. So in short, I wear many hats. Uh, I'm project manager, um, trainer, uh uh, you know, records administrator. So basically what I do is uh, for the past 10 years, I've worked on high profile, high impact, cradle to grave projects, including the implementation of three enterprise wide learning management systems. So I know that's a lot of words, but in short, what I do is I train the guys, I train the guys out, out in the field. So I'm very, I just very excited about, um, you know, having to uh, you know, talk with the different levels of the company and uh, different people. And every day is a different day. Every day is different. That is outstanding. And one of the, the greatest things that I, I just am inspired by you and, and Nita, I love to connect with inspiring leaders and peek behind the curtain to find out what inspires them. And what's really neat is I've, I have found that you're constantly learning. You're constantly saying, hey, I'm taking this assessment or I'm getting this certification or I'm, I'm jumping on this helicopter to go fly out to this. And you, it is such a constant learning and just growth. And that is one of the most amazing things that I've just been so inspired by you over the years that I've been following you. And, and what is it about learning that you just you just crave? I mean, that's one thing is uh, about this job. When you train others, I mean, you have to be on top <laughs> of, you know, <laughs> you have to be in the know as to what's going on. And also what you, where, where's the industry going? Where, where is, uh, you know, where's the next game coming from? What, mm. what's going to be hot? Um, before I started out as a journalism major and what I did was went out to the field and, um, uh, uh, uh basically uh, uh, interviewed the guys or interviewed mm -hmm. anybody to get the story. Yeah. So it, it's basically the same thing, only it's for different reasons. So it's about constant learning. It is, if I don't know something, I want to go uh, research it and learn more about it. If there's something that I need to do to be more skilled in, I'm going to go out and I'm going to read about it and I'm going to you know watch YouTube videos about it. And I'm going to uh, learn as much as I can, you know, to get that, to get that, uh, uh, you know, uh, ground where, mm -hmm. I, where I can make a mark, so to speak. So, I, I mean, to know people, you have to have a lot of skills and to know a lot of people, you need to <laughs> really have a lot of skills. That is outstanding. And and one of the things that I, I, you said that is you're, you, you have to know the now. So you're constantly learning the now, but what is really neat, what you said was, you have to know where the industry is going. So you're always looking forward. You're not just focused on the present, but you're also focused on the future as well, uh, which I think is such an incredible, you know, approach to, to life and to work and the things that you're doing. So that is absolutely incredible, Nita, that I just, I love that you do that here now. And you're also focused on the future to, to yeah, see what you can do. You have to be, be because here, it, here are the current regulations right now. But it, what are the current possible regulations that could come out in the next couple of years? What's coming out this year? What's coming out in three years? So it, it's constant revolving of trying to figure out, okay, what, you know, where's, uh, where are the new regulations? Uh, you know, also uh, where have people been hurt in the last five, 10 years? So there are ways that you can look at all this information and say, hey, how could I do my job better? How could I best train these guys to be, safer um mm -hmm. you know what can we do to improve uh you know uh incidents out out um in the field so i mean there's there's lots of ways that you know you can you can help your personnel be better and and you know so that's what i do i love to kind of uh take all this information and and use it for good so to speak 
I love it. You're like a superhero. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nita, I'm, go ahead. Yeah, I'm I'm like I'm like I'm like the quiet superhero. I like <laughs> to be in the background and I like to, you know, uh yeah. Somebody told me the other day when one of somebody in my team said, Oh my gosh, you're like the energizer bunny. And I said, <laughs> I got to be. I have totally got to be because they're, yeah. you know, this job is, you know, it, it, any any safety professional is always pulled in a thousand directions. But, you know, the number one key is to ensure that your personnel, you know, go home with, to their family with 10 fingers and 10 toes, just like mm -hmm. they came to work. I mean, that's, you know, yeah. that's, that's the key. That's the key, keeping everybody safe. I love it. The Energizer Bunny with the cape on it. You're just keeping everybody <laughs> safe, doing things. Well, Nita, I, I want to get to the points. So what what's what's intriguing to me is, leaders that like i said that are inspiring inspiring other people to be safe in, in your your case but what intrigues me is what inspires these inspiring leaders and so i reached out to you and asked you i was like nita what inspires you you came back with three great statements and i can't wait to kind of dig into these a little bit so the first one we kind of we kind of dabbled into was a broad knowledge base and the skills to present those facts so what is it, you know, and I know we talked about that and, you know, keeping your team safe and everything, but what is it about that, that growth and that knowledge base that really inspires you? It's the, the fact that if you're a person, you want to strive to know uh, the history of something. You want to strive to know what mistakes have we made in the past? Um, you know, what what things were tried, what things weren't tried? So to have a broad sense of knowledge, you, you can kind of make those uh, decisions like, OK, um, this is where we came from. But in order to get 10 steps ahead, mm -hmm. what do we need to do? Mm -hmm. And I know and it, it 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 requires a lot of knowledge it, uh, and it requires a lot of skill. So you not only have to know what to do, but you have to kind of convince others and uh, kind of. Uh, you know, get everybody in the same mindset because we're all here to solve the same problem and we don't all think the same. And that's good because you want to have several different um, uh, opinions and, you know, knowledge sets. And you, you want 10 people to come together and say, hey, you know, let's let's solve this. Let's attack this problem. We can come to a solution. And I'm going to say, Every problem that I've had a team work on has come out so much better than if I worked on it myself. Ooh. And so you put 10 heads together, you're going to come up with, you know, something that is amazing, amazing work. That, and, and to come to consensus is is golden because mm -hmm. uh, you want you want everybody to uh, input. You want everybody to have a say and you you want the best of the best and people are going to put their best forward and you just know how to have to get it out of them. And so that takes a huge skill as well. So so in addition to having that huge knowledge base, uh, you have to have some idea um, to get to present, you know, present the information, but also get more information from your team. And yeah, that's that's golden. And, and, and that's something I strive to work on every every day, every week. You know, something that, you know, puts me out of my comfort zone because, I mean, I would love, I, I work, I, 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 you know, I work great on my own, but it's on my own. And, you know, team is not somebody who is on their own. A team is somebody who can bring everybody together and, you know, tackle, tackle, tackle these issues. Yeah, that that's fantastic. And, and Nita, I have to really respect what you just said there because, you know, a lot of us as a leader, we're like, I think I know everything. I've got this knowledge base. I know how we used to do it and I will make the decision. But what Nita, what's really inspiring about you is you understand, okay, here's how we got here. Here are my thoughts. And I'm bringing in this team to collaborate together to create the best approach to move us forward. And I think, and, and it sounds like your team is is totally engaged in that conversation and that collaboration to to grow and to build and to move forward together because you you have created such a uh, an inspiration and an influence if you will with them because of who you are as a leader uh, your title may say trainer but you are leader in all sense of the words and that's that's absolutely incredible yeah and i really I really respect and admire 
uh, you know, the folks who can uh, go against the grain and kind of mm-hmm. say, okay, I see how everyone thinks this way, but what about this? So, yeah. I mean, the people who I call them my naysayers, but I need them. I need them to tell me what could go wrong. You know, what do you think? What is wrong with the solution? You know, how is it going to blow up, <laughs> so to speak? Because <laughs> I mean, it looks great on paper, yeah. but when you put it out in the field, I mean, it is something else. So, I mean, I need those guys out in the field to say, well, that is a great idea, but this, this is what, this is what's not going to work about it. And that's great because then, okay, let's find a solution that is going to work about it. Um, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Um, you know, it, a lot has happened, uh, during COVID <laughs> and that is kind of, yeah. That's kind of blown up a lot of things. Uh, where, yeah. You know, where we're, you know, a lot of things had to be changed fairly quickly to kind of get things done. And and, yeah. and good. It was it was good. So it was kind of put us in a uh in a new direction and kind of put us out and uh in, out of our comfort zone. Mm-hmm. But but you know, we had to we had to do it and we had to move ahead. There you go. And and Nina, what and two things that kind of come to mind is what you said is your this this team has a trust and a comfort level with you to to go against the grain to tell you hey it this is the great idea but in the field it's not going to work so there's that trust and comfort with you as a leader that you've built that they will go against the grain and and say hey this may 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 not work and and that's something that you've built with your team and that's that's a sign of a great leader Nita way to go hey so I want to jump into your second point is making decisions from an ethical standpoint. That's that's an interesting one. Um, so unpack that a little bit more for us. What does that mean for you making those decisions? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, and that and that that's a lot, and it is a lot because you have to think, well, what is ethical? So <laughs> I mean, what what is ethical to me, it may be different from what is ethical to somebody else. But um, in addition, uh, or what it is about, it's living by certain laws, uh, rules and regulations, rules of conduct, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Values and moral principles. So it's not only, uh, you know, living by those types of things, but also knowing your core values, who you are as a person, how you grew up, and then having the courage to live uh, in that way, in all parts of your life, uh, and in service for the common good. So, um, but then it kind of, yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, doing good for the common good, I guess is what you would say. Yeah. So, um, but uh, one of those types of leaders is going to advocate for justice, is mm-hmm. going to advocate for service to others, respect for others, right? Yeah. <laughs> Honesty towards others. Honesty is the big thing now because, <clears throat> You know, it's all honesty is always telling the truth, but there, you see a lot of dishonesty out there now. So, uh, you know, telling the truth also with a balance of openness uh, while monitoring what what is appropriate to say, because, yeah. you know, sometimes as a leader, you know the truth, but you can't say all of the truth because it's as part of your leadership. You have to take on some of, you know, some of the brunt of some of those uh uh, you know, harsher areas, so to speak. I mean, you don't want your team to know everything behind the scenes yeah. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> because, and they don't have to, as a leader, yeah. you have to take care of that kind of stuff. But yeah, but yeah. That's, that. that's impressive, Nita, because I, I, I think what I, what I'm kind of, what's resonating with me and what you just said is the, the awareness of, okay, what are, what are the guidelines that I'm going to operate in right and a lot of us will just kind of a a lot of people you'll find just kind of operate in social norms and they just kind of go with the flow and there's there's no guidance and and what i'm what i'm understanding from you and what i absolutely respect is what you've said about i've i've got these guidance i've got these laws i've got regulations and you know and these are things that are come down from you know some regulatory agency or whatever these are going to be my guidelines and I'm adding my vo- my values, my principles, you know, my my perspective on these things so that even though I've got these these regulatory laws and and rules and everything, I'm going to add in 
an operating approach of being a being a great leader person so that I can take care of my team and do things well uh, along the way. Right. And some of the greatest leaders that and even in my company, I mean, incredible. Um, they just have this you know, integrity and, you know, and they have this fairness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. They have to hear it from all sides, but they have this way of like, they have this wiseness about them, but also transparency where, you know, they'll let you know, (laughs) they'll let you know. (laughs) So they're honest as well. So in in some way, I I totally, totally respect that. And, um, you know, they do, they have the, Mm -hmm. they have to live by, live and work by the rules of the company, but live and work by the rules of you know, the regulators out there. Yeah. So, so you, some of these, and you know, some of these um, laws that you think, huh, I wonder, okay, that's kind of interesting, but okay, it is what it is. <laughs> and so, so, you know, remember back in the day, we don't, we didn't have to wear seatbelts, but you know, the <laughs> laws changed. <laughs> and we got to go with them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very interesting because when I get on my motorcycle, I always want to put on a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, you know, some laws apply for some things and some don't, and that and that's okay. But, and I think, you know, a leader that has a foundation that they operate from is right. what makes a strong leader so that they're not swayed by, you know, the the moment of the, you know, the, the issue of the moment. They're not swayed. They've got a strong foundation that they can truly operate from. You know, that's true. And I, and that's what I'm, I'm really, you know, struggling with now because I want to be that peacemaker. I want mm-hmm. to, and, and and in some ways it is very good, but when you know right is right and wrong is wrong, I mean, you have to stand your ground. Yeah. So I, I'm more of that peacemaker to say, well, you know, okay, let me, and I kind of give in a little, kind of like you yeah. would with your kids. <laughs> it's like, but well, I think, okay. you know, it, yeah. And a strong leader is not a people pleaser in, in all, in, in every situation. Sometimes, you have to say no. Sometimes you're going to hurt somebody's feelings for the right reason. And eventually they'll understand where you came from and they'll respect you for it. Um, so I think it, it's difficult for a lot of leaders, uh, myself right. included, to to say no to our team members. Uh, but I love that you have that awareness. You have that engagement with, you know, the you know, again, regulations. And also your core values and your principles to have that foundation. So, Nita, that's that's impressive. The third thing I want to bring up is is your third point, and I love this one so much is is being resilient and having the ability to learn from mistakes. Yes. And so, what 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 does that mean to you? The resiliency and learning from mistakes. How does that inspire you? Well, back back when I was younger, and even even to recently, maybe. I always wanted to be this perfect person. And I, a lot of things I did, I did it correctly the first time, but that's not how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> that really is not how you learn. You want, you need to make those mistakes. Uh, it's kind of like that saying, uh, you know, uh, what is it that uh, smooth, say, uh, smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. Right. I love that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it it is true. You can't learn the things that you need to learn if you don't make mistakes. Mm. So and that's okay because you make those mistakes and then and you learn from them. So, uh, you know, it's 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 really it's really tough uh, when you do make mistakes and you feel, oh, goodness, I'm just oh, I feel horrible. I, I can't believe I just happened. And then I hurt other people or this has affected other people. But it is a way to learn and grow. And and to come back from it and say, you know what? I really did. I I screwed up, <laughs> uh, or I messed this up big time. And this is and and you're gonna say, okay, I'm just I'm gonna make it right, and we're gonna go forward and we're gonna fix it, or say, hey, we're learning from it, um, and, and move forward. So I mean, I've known people in 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 my work um that yes have been on the bottom the bottom they have lost houses they have lost you know you know a spouse they have you know lost children through custody battles and that sort of stuff 
And 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 it, it is, it's horrible, but you, you have to move forward from where you are. Um, you, and you have to, uh, you know, you have to make decisions from where you're at. And you can't look at that past stuff. You can't dwell on it because you will be dwelling for ages. I mean, yes, uh, what I've learned is when you when you have a hard day or hard week and, and you've made these mistakes, give yourself 24 hours to say, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I really messed up. But, you know, when that 24 hour mark hits, it's like, OK, you got to move forward. OK, mm. because you can't dwell on it because it's not going to help you being in that past. It's just not you're you're just taking away from your present and you're going to be taken away from your future. I know this from experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Nita, I, I that is such a, a brilliant statement because give yourself 24 hours just to deal with it and then move on. And yeah. I I like it. This this almost this ties in really well with one of the first things that you you shared when we first started the conversation about learning the here and now and getting prepared for the future and moving forward, getting ready for yeah. the future. And this just kind of just this just kind of threads to it that you're going to make mistakes and that's okay. Understand the here and now and get ready to move forward from that, grow from it, uh, learn from it. And and Nita, I think one of the things that I love this kind of the threaded through our conversation today is just your constant learning and understanding and growing from the things that you kind of experience and move getting ready to move forward from it. And so Nita, this has been a great conversation. I've loved learning from you. Um, and I love that you're a lifelong learner as well. This is something you shared with me earlier and I had to, I had to use that. Um, but we're at the end of our time, but I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us before we wrap up. I mean, just that, that, um, you know, we do make mistakes in life and, and, but make it a part of you, make it like really claim it and say, yes, I, I'm, I've learned something from it. I'm going to learn something from it. And you'd be surprised that down the road, there's, there's a reason why you had to learn this lesson and, and you don't know it now and you may not know it tomorrow, but at some point in the future, you will say, yes, you know, I'm glad that that did happen. You know, kind of like bless the broken road. I mean, that is so true. I mean, I'm a, I'm going to stay, you know, all of these, uh, you, you know, uh, all, all these, you, you may think that there are, uh, you know, issues and there there's things that are trying to take you off your path. But just think about this. Maybe, maybe you weren't on the right path. Maybe you needed to be redirected. Ooh. I mean, and you, maybe you had to learn from this to, uh, to grow, to be the person that you're meant to be. I mean, that's, that's basically, that's, that's, that's where I'm coming from. And, and yeah, learn every day and, you know, and keep going forward because this, this is all, this is all gonna, this is all gonna turn out okay. Oh my gosh, Nita, that was fantastic. That's like a mic drop moment. Learn from those mistakes, put them in your pocket, hang on to them. You may use them later. Yeah. It's all going to be okay. Thank you, Nita. Exactly. Nita, this has been absolutely wonderful. It's been brilliant to, to, to connect with you again and to learn from you. Guys, thank you for joining us today on this episode. Make sure you kind of rewind, go back and, and listen to some of this, make some notes. This is some great wisdom from Nita that you're going to want to write down, put it in your pocket for later. I promise you that money back guarantee. Nita, thank you for joining us today, for being a guest, and we will see you on the next episode.